Hello, it is Foundation Friday, December 10th, 2021. Steve Cypress here, and I'm coming to you from our front door, front patio here with some Christmas lights behind me. And then I just realized, how am I going to read from the book? Because we are doing another in our multi-part series on the fantastic classic book that every entrepreneur, every human being really should read multiple times and get this stuff ingrained into your brain. It's The Magic of Thinking Big by Dr. David J. Schwartz. Today, we pick up under the chapter of How to Think Creatively. And this is when I first was handed this book to read, uh, probably, I don't know, it's well over 30 years ago. And from the first time I read it, this is one of the phrases that I instantly connected with and I remember vividly uh, reading this for the first time and loving it. It really turns uh, turns things around from negative thinking to positive thinking. So Dr. Schwartz points out that as a personal policy, I have accepted fully the concept. If you want it done, give it to a busy man. And obviously that would be busy woman or one of the other 462 genders that there are now. Back when he wrote the book, <laughs> how silly, there was only two genders. And so... Uh, he said, give it to a busy man. Now there's 470,812 genders. And there's probably more since I just said that. But uh, I will repeat that. If you want something done, give it to a busy man. Why? As Dr. Schwartz points out, I refuse to work on important projects with persons who have lots of free time. I have learned from painful, expensive experience that the fellow or woman who has plenty of time makes an ineffective work partner. All the successful, competent people I know are busy. When I start something, some project with them, I know it will be satisfactorily completed. So if you want it done, get it to a busy man, and all successful, competent people I know are busy. And what I mean by turning the negative into a positive is you might think like, well, I can't do that, I'm busy. Or, gee, uh, you know, uh, that's a big excuse. I'm too busy. Somebody brings you a big opportunity and your response is, man, I wish I wasn't so busy. Well, did you ever think that maybe a very successful person brought you that opportunity specifically because he or she knows you're busy? And they believe, as I do, and as Dr. Schwartz does, that if you want something done, get it to a busy man, and then you pass on it because you're busy. No, you should be celebrating and going, wow, the only reason that this successful person is coming to me with this huge opportunity is because he or she knows that I'm busy. Hallelujah, I'm busy. Way to go. Busy people get a lot done. I'm working on 16 million things at once. I'm doing all kinds of things. I got clients that own multiple, multiple businesses are doing all kinds of things. Busy, 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 busy. They're the people I would always go to and I do always go to when I want to get something done. I'm not going to go to someone who's got an empty calendar and they're lying around. They got nothing to do. Uh, as Dr. Schwartz points out, painful, expensive experience teaches those are not the people you want to be doing business with. And to finish it up, Dr. Schwartz points out, I have learned in dozens of instances that I can count on a busy man to deliver, or a woman. But I have often been disappointed in working with people who have all the time in the world. So sharp business owners are always asking the question, what can we do to expand the business, to increase revenue to life? You should also be always asking yourself, what can I do to expand my output, to become more busy, to be getting more done, to be accomplishing. Oh, we're back. To be a successful, competent person. When you ask that magic question, what can I do to expand my output? Your mind will creatively show you how to do it. And that'll do it. For a foundation Friday, I got the hint from Facebook or my internet connection up here in the mountains. Uh, it is famously weak that it is time to end the video. Thanks for being here today. I will be back here again tomorrow with you on Social Media Saturday. I will catch you then over and out. Bye-bye.